Hey, how's it going? So now I'm going to be talking about podcasts and what that is. Podcasts, are, uh, most of the people might know of them. If not, I would highly recommend perhaps. Depending on the uh, best way that you taking in information. If anything, myself, I not necessarily always got time to read books. Perhaps if I can listen to books while doing, uh, while working in a garden or when lifting weights, whatever that might be. So depending, depending on perhaps on the person and what uh, he or his way of taking in information, a podcast might be something that you might be interested in. Podcasts are a popular form of digital media that typically consists of audio recordings available for streaming or downloading over the internet. They cover a wide range of topics or formats including interviews, storytelling, discussions, news, education and entertainment. This week I'm focusing a lot on uh, international trade and I'm taking a lot of uh, uh, attending a lot of seminars, online lessons, and everything, where to begin, where or where to <laughs> where to start, and I'm consulting uh, with some of the uh, government departments of, of what's the best way of doing that, and uh, mo- some of the people out there, it's perhaps depending on what generation are we talking about. Some of the people, <laughs> they might be really good at what they're doing comparing to with other government departments, especially this particular department, which I'm talking about. We definitely know, do know what they're doing and the uh, information that they're sharing, but either way, and some of the people, depending on the generation, they might prefer taking in information uh, than, uh, or the way how they would take it. They not necessarily would watch, I don't know, new influencers or anything, but they perhaps listen to you. Uh, radio uh, or just to give you an idea right so a podcast might be just another t- type of me- medium of how you would like to transfer information and uh, depending on perhaps uh, uh, your generation or what you used to or perhaps if you are interested in trying new ways of mediums uh, key points uh, with regards to podcasts that would be content variety podcasts cover Virtually everything uh, can uh, <laughs> every subject uh, manageable from technology, uh, science, comedy, history, true crime, self help, and any uh, storytelling. I guess or if I haven't said that already, yeah. So most of the topics definitely. Uh, perhaps if you're uh, not that interested in particular subject. Or, for example, history, I would highly recommend perhaps uh, listening to some of the podcasts out there. Or very talented people and how they can potentially bring a lot of uh, their own knowledge, unique uh, points into a particular subject, history and their own understanding, especially perhaps over many years, how much they have spent studying particular subjects and their own personal understanding. I wish that uh, I could. Perhaps uh, when it comes to learning, uh, perhaps learn from particular people who really enjoy uh, history, right? So it's something that I'm myself very interested in. And uh, then you can imagine a particular way how you're learning particular subjects within a school and doing that, uh, you need to do that in person. And well, perhaps instead, instead of doing the learning in person, how many people are there who are really passionate about history and how they can share uh, different stories or unique points in history and you, uh, how you can learn that especially if we are thinking about how to reduce something as a student loans <laughs> so some of the subjects that came to light today within the US but either way so that would be just uh, another way of taking in information and learning accessibility podcasts are accessible on various platforms uh, myself, I have recently published uh, my own podcast on over 15 different platforms for everyone who are interested. You can find it, uh, perhaps even more than 15, but <laughs> I, I spent so many, uh, so many hours doing it uh, yesterday uh, just because of the library that I do have. And uh, I haven't published 
every single uh, work I have done. Uh, I have published uh, one fourth, yeah, roughly about one fourth of all the libraries that I managed to do. But uh, yeah, so everyone who are interested, I would highly recommend you check it out. Whichever platform you prefer to do, use or listen your podcast at. A subscription model, many podcasts release episodes on a regular schedule, such as weekly, monthly. Subscriptions uh, to your podcast ensure that they receive new episodes automatically. So th- there's different options how you can subscribe to a particular uh, person or author who is releasing those podcasts for you to listen to and to stay on top of the new releases. You can subscribe to different podcasts and uh, different options as well as perhaps you yourself can listen to your music and uh, follow different artists as <laughs> if you in, in, instead of perhaps of listening to jazz podcasts you can listen to uh, different things as audiobooks, uh, radio shows as well as uh, perhaps uh, news uh, depending on what, what you are looking for. On demand listeners can choose when and where to listen to podcasts making them Convenient form and entertainment and education for commute, commute, I guess, if you're going from A to B, uh, workouts, if you're lifting weights or downtime, if you're just chilling at home and relaxing in a garden. Uh, creators, anyone can start their own podcast with a basic recording equipment and interest uh, in to perhaps offering uh, different content to different people. This accessibility has led to diverse range of voices and perspectives in the podcasting world, as well as, if anything, as a business owner, you perhaps you would like to spread the message and perhaps share your work with your potential prospects and people who you're going to be offering a service to. If anything, that's my own personal perspective, perhaps other people's my, uh, people out there might start podcasts or publishing their work up there online for whatever reason that might be. Uh, myself, if anything, uh, I'm focusing on business. Uh, so many people would focus on having interesting conversations, I guess, I guess and interviews. Podcasts often future guest ex- uh, experts celebrities and individuals with unique experiences. Interview styles, podcasts are a popular format for this reason. Most of the people perhaps just having interesting conversations with interesting people that perhaps would be one way to look at it. And uh, that would overall perhaps you as a professional improve your knowledge and expertise in the different fields. And uh, listening to those interviews, there are a lot of value there. I wish, I wish I could film some of those uh, business meetings that I'm having on a daily basis. Uh, I don't know if anyone will benefit from those meetings. Uh, sometimes with the uh, uh, very, very reputable uh, organizations of that that I'm uh, having interviews and uh, how much time can be wasted. And if anything, that could be as a learning experience to people up there who are interested in launching their own business and learning from uh, so many times, you could find yourself in a particular situation where you're just talking with a gatekeeper and for some reason you need to convince that person who can lead you to another person, who can lead you to another person. And from there, you might be able to talk with the person who actually can make business decisions. The person that you had to speak in the first place. Uh, why you were talking with those other two people. So uh, most of the conversations of that can go this particular way. And people would be lying and trying to trick you. Uh, perhaps you need to tell them a very interesting story. <laughs> why I'm sending this video might be one way to spreading the word of that where you're talking with the administration staff who uh, has been hired there. If anything, uh, most of the people motivation up there is do not do anything. Do not do anything. Especially if you're getting paid for your time there. They, they're just there. They're just being there. They're not necessarily looking to solve any problems or bring more business or sell their products or services.
For people out there who would like to learn more, I would highly recommend to purchase this journal. I have made this tool for people out there to learn and develop a habit, good habits that potentially can lead you to success. If uh, uh, I was looking for this particular tool back in the day, so I'm going to develop this particular tool for uh, people out there who would like to learn more and have this tool in the toolkit. In this journal, I'm focusing a lot of uh, developing habits as well as focusing on 24 hours and making most of your time uh, during the day and how to optimize your time and uh, some of the areas that I personally believe are important. It's, I'm coming from my own experience. Uh, feel free to leave any feedback. Uh, what you think about it? Do you like it? Uh, do you? Uh, or perhaps uh, have any suggestions. You can find this uh, channel in the description below as well as Topic Dallas has it. There's different ways or formats of a particular pod, uh, podcast uh, depending on what you are looking for. Some of them uh, up there can be storytelling, some of them can be educational as well as community and overall engagements. We have some of the interviews up there. I uh, might be interested in launching some of our projects uh, with community engagement and giving back, uh, just securing funding. It's, it's something that I need to do first. And overall, it will come back to monetization. For anyone, uh, if anything, uh, feel free to do your own research and understand this particular subject a little bit better. Uh, uh, if you've got any questions or if you're interested to see my podcasts, you can go on your preferred platforms and find it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.